Hey math friends, today we're going to practice multiplying whole numbers. We're going to start with an example of a three digit by three digit. We'd prefer to write that vertically, lining up our place values. We start with multiplying the 372 by the nine, the ones place. So two times nine is 18, carry the one. Seven times nine is 63, plus the one we carry to 64, leave the four, carry the six. Three times nine is 27, plus the six we carry to 33. And if you like, you can put a comma there. Now we move to the tens place. We are going to multiply 372 by 80, right? So that's why we put that zero in the ones place. So now we can just multiply 372 by eight and we can kind of forget about our zero. Two times eight is 16, carry the one. Seven times eight is 56 plus the one we carried is 57, carry the five. Three times eight is 24 plus the five we carried is 29. And if you'd like, you can put a comma there. Now as we move into the hundreds place, the four, we're multiplying 372 by 400. That's why we have to put two zeros. Now we can just do 372 by four. Two times four is eight, seven times four is 28, leave the eight, carry the two. Three times four is 12, plus the two we carried is 14. Now we can just add all of these up to find our total. In the ones place, eight plus the zeros is eight, four plus six is 10, carry the one. Three and seven is 10, plus eight is 18, plus the one we carried is 19, carry the one. Nine and eight is 17, and three is 20, plus the one we carried. Two plus four is six, plus the two we carried. And now we just have the one, and finally, you are done. Whew, gotta be careful when you got a lot of numbers. Let's try this with a real world example. I know you're excited. So we have a company, it's going to print 1,825 books every day, and we wanna know how many they print in 174 days. So we can find that total using multiplication. All right, so let's work this out together. Hope we have enough room to get all these rows in. So we start with 1,825 times the four. Five times four is 20, carry the two. Two times four is eight, plus the two we carried is 10. Eight times four is 32, plus the one is 33, carry the three. One times four is four, plus the three is seven. Now as we move into the tens place, we wanna account for the fact that it is the tens place. We put that zero. Now we can do five times seven is 35, carry the three. Two times seven is 14, plus the three we carried. Eight times seven is 56, plus the one we carried. And one times seven is seven, plus the five we carried. Still with me? Good. Okay, we're moving into the hundreds place, so we need to account for the fact that we're in the hundreds place. And now we just do 1,825 times one, which is just 1,825, but I'll work through it with you. Five times one is five, two times one is two, eight times one is eight, and one times one is one. Now, finally, we can add all of the zeros in the ones place. There's just a five in the tens place. We have three plus seven is 10 plus five is 15 here, carry the one. Seven and seven is 14, plus two is 16, plus the one we carried. Two and eight is 10, plus the one we carried. And finally, our answer. So multiplying these large numbers is just a matter of keeping things nice and tidy.